About two weeks ago, I did a video where I showed uh, a silver QEV and uh, how to hook it up to air, uh, attach an air tank and a barrel to make a very simple air rifle out of an eBay QEV. What I'm showing here today is actually the same silver QEV as in here but I've made up uh, an air rifle for it, a proper one. This uh, has a 22 caliber Crossman 24 inch long barrel on it right now. It's a uh, bolt action here, the bolts opened and a uh, air rifle pellet can be placed in and the bolt closed for firing. The uh, air chamber is uh, made from copper pipe and fittings. It's uh, 5 eighths of an inch diameter copper pipe, about uh, 18 inches long. In the other video where I was just demonstrating the QEV and how to hook it up, I was filling and uh, piloting through the same quarter NPT ball valve, but here I've made a large upgrade to make things uh, a lot more useful and easy. I got a uh, three-way 12-volt solenoid valve here. These are available uh, readily on eBay for about $15 to $20 at the most. What this allows is for me to uh, have my shop air hooked up here and uh, this valve, because it's a three-way solenoid valve, allows the air rifle to fill and then when uh, the solenoid is electrically actuated it pilots the QEV firing the air rifle. So this is quite a good little uh, valve to have, the, the three-way solenoid valve, and not terribly expensive. Of course you could use the uh, $3 eBay slide valve, but then you don't get uh, electric firing of your air gun. I have a uh, micro switch hooked up to the trigger here. So trigger pull is very light, and power is supplied by a 12-volt lithium polymer battery that's hiding uh, inside the grip here. The LiPo can be recharged because its charging cable hangs out the bottom of the hand grip, so I can just put it on a LiPo charger for half an hour and it'll be full again but it very rarely requires charging because this uh, three-way solenoid valve draws less than five watts to open. I also uh, made up a scope mount from uh, brass stock that's machine screwed to the top of the QEV and it can take normal uh, scope mounts for uh, 11 millimeter rail and I have a Tasco 3 to 9 power variable scope on here for uh, aiming. The rifle stock is made from a piece of uh, electrical conduit and a piece of shaped plywood at the end here. So it's quite solid, and it is uh, bolted on to the side of the QEV, so it's uh, quite solid, doesn't move. Here's a quick look at the dual purpose breech on the uh, 25 caliber barrel setup. There's a 25 caliber lead pellet here. It can load in as single shot through that, or I can put the uh, steel BBs into uh, this magazine, put in 20, and then screw the lid back on, and it's ready to go. 
With the 24-inch rifled Crossman barrel that's mounted, <laughs> I got decent accuracy. I can easily uh, hit a pop can at a measured 25 meters distance. So I'm happy with the accuracy. The 25 caliber barrel is of course not rifled, it's just a uh, steel tube so I can shoot the BBs through it, so it's not as accurate, but uh, no problem on my indoor 10 meter range. Now we can see the breech for single shot 25 caliber pellets and the uh, clip that I've made for 25 caliber steel BBs. I've loaded some steel BBs in the clip. Let's just uh, shoot a few into the backstop to show this working. Let's give the 25 caliber semi-auto a try. There's about five shots, and uh, it worked. Here's a quick last look with the 25 caliber barrel mounted, and the 22 caliber barrel is shown loose in front.